My teaching philosophy and, and approach would be that I believe that every student must, must meet the, the outcome of, of the module, but also they need to learn and experience the, the content in their own time and to the ability that they are comfortable with. So therefore, I'm here for my students and I work with my students to achieve their goals within the set time frame. What makes his teaching method so great is the way he gets the point across in the most effective time possible. And by that, it helps us to get more time to work on our projects. I think they need to have fun, both the students and the lecturer. If, you, if you're not having fun while you are studying or teaching, then it's not an inducive environment to be in. And you need to be inspired in that environment. So not only the content that you teach, the manner how you teach, but also the physical environment that you teach in must be inspiring. What I like the most about his teaching method is actually firstly the way that he approaches us as students, which is very like warm and he tries as much as possible to get onto our personal level to understand exactly where we are at with our computer background and our perspective on technology. And then from that basis, teaching us from there. So like everybody gets um, their own pace. There's a freedom to approach him wherever you're at. Um, and it's almost as if he doesn't take it for granted where we should be with our computer knowledge. But he really just meets us where we're at, um, which makes the concept of technology like so much less daunting because there's such a freedom and a fun in this class to just be free. I think my relationship with the students is that they're not just a number or a surname, it's we're on a first name basis and you develop a relationship with each and every student. You know if there's problems in both financial or family or just the content wise. So you know, you read them so you know that you know if they're not performing the way they should that there's something wrong and they can feel comfortable to come and, uh, come and talk to you and, and feel free to express their, their concerns and that I am comfortable uh, that I can approach them um, and, and talk to them about their performance and there's no hard feelings, um, it, it, it's done in a professional way. So I think that it's a very, very close staff-student staff relationship. Uh, to me, I can also go to him for scripts um, on, on my work in case I have something I'm unsure about because it is a new program to me to work with. Due to my, my method of teaching, I've started the first two years in a similar manner that it was, was taught, but then I started realizing that the students are struggling to, to keep up. So you've got a class, class of around about 40, 50 students, each coming with a different background to computers. And also everybody is understanding um, the concepts differently. So from just a normal weekly lecture, I went into conducting workshops, so rather two, three um, intense days, but we get to the content much quicker and then we take a whole semester in, in practicing the work that we've just covered in the workshop. And I've found that to be very effective. I've tried to, to go one step further because with the workshop I've developed a study guide and a how-to booklet almost for, for every module that I, that I teach. But due to also the rapid change in technology, it's very difficult to keep a handbook or, or a set of notes up to date. And looking at the the new generation of, of students, we, um, and I'm calling it we because I feel I'm in, in the same boat um, with my age, we, we tend to, to go to YouTube, we tend to look at videos, everything much quicker than actually trying to read a 17 page instruction manual. So I've taken that approach where my lectures are pre-recorded, uh, trying to work in smaller um, quantities rather than trying to teach concepts um, for, for hours and hours and I thought that worked very well because students are now in in charge of the actual lecture itself. I actually like the idea of having a lecturer on call. I can pause, fast forward and rewind whenever I best please. Should I have missed a lecture I will always be able to get on top of my game, recover in the sense that the lectures are there waiting for me at all times. We do photography as part of one of my modules and we go out on site and we pop balloons and we throw fruit in milk and you know take shots and so we try and have fun. I've also just just came back from a career tour with the first years for design so also to get them to experience the theoretical 
content that we work through, we also want to try to, to make it as practical as, as possible because you can learn something or you can understand a concept, but by actually engaging and, and feeling one on one with that actual concept, um, I, I noticed the past three days that that plays a big, big role in the development of the student. When you actually fully understand what your module is all about is when you look at the content, you understand what your lecturer is trying to tell you, but you start to ask specific questions. And to me, I prefer that than standing in front of a class with a slideshow and trying to just, you know, cover my 45 five minutes. I would like them to engage and I would like to engage in conversations, which is really um, the, the method of doing. And if I have to stand on tables or lay on the ground to get a concept going, um, that that is if that's needed that's what we need need to do and then of course you know I would like them to feel inspired even if the project that they needed to, to hand in is not to the best um, not satisfying all the criteria I strongly believe that at least one positive comment must be given to the student and then we can focus on on the negative um, or the critique of the actual design process or the presentation or even the technical abilities if we talk about the software programs being awarded the Teacher of, of the Year really, really put me to ease point number one, that what I'm doing is I'm on the right track. And being awarded that award, it was just, it, it just gave me more petrol in my tank to actually do more and to, to actually achieve more. So I would like to, to work on my idea of interactive teaching lessons within the computer modules and to better my recordings, to add, to, to look at you know, the right recording software and the editing tools to make even the accessibility of those lectures more interactive in, in nature and not very, very static um, as it currently is by just, by just watching it, but that students can, can in, inter, interact and engage with the videos a little bit um, better. Also, I would like to focus on, on looking at similar technologies in, in teaching design and, and theory. So that award, it's, it's not going to stop yet. It's actually just the beginning.